welcome to the Upside Down Show. It is your favorite lifestyle and entertainment show on television. My name is Premier Dinami. Mine is Nana Tufo. The show is brought to you by Vodafone. And as we always do, we're going to bring you an exciting conversation. But now we're going for a break. When we come back, we introduce our guest and we get the party started. Coming up on the Upside Down Show, we have a conversation with acclaimed actor and chairman of the National Film Authority, David Donto, as he talks about the movies, acting, and more on the show. Well, welcome back. Yes, indeed, we're promising you something very, very, very exciting, very interesting, but most importantly for me, very educative because uh, this is somebody I've been looking to learn a lot from and today I'm fortunate enough to have him on the show on the set. Prince. Of course, Aren't you know, excited? I'm super excited <laughs> because he is somebody that I have followed, you know, mm -hmm. for quite a yeah. long time. Yeah. And um, I am happy with his achievements and, I mean, his selflessness and mm -hmm. his dedication to the arts. Definitely. And I'm sure Definitely. he's Definitely. one who needs no introduction. No, he we does all not. know him. I mean, back then, you know, we all just mm -hmm. came chores just to go and watch him on exactly. TV. Exactly. And how he's been able to stay relevant mm -hmm. all, all these, these years. years. He is still a force to reckon with. Definitely. And I think that. These are some of the people that we really need to get close to, exactly. you know, to yeah. know how we can improve mm -hmm. our theatre, we can improve our um, arts, movie industry, and everything, especially oh. in this time that our movie industry mm -hmm. is struggling. Yeah. I think that there's so much wisdom that mm -hmm. we can of course. tap into. Of course. Ladies of course. and gentlemen, <laughs> this is one person who needs no introduction. Mm -hmm. You know him very well. I know him very well. Please help us welcome David Dunstan. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, he's everybody's uncle, yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also call him Ko um, Kofi Ghana. Mm -hmm. Ghana you know, man. Uh, in Kumasi, uh, we used uh, to call uh, him Kofi no, oh, Ghana man. Kofi Abranti. Yes, yeah. yes. And Ghana man. Ghana yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> uncle David, how did you get Kofi Abranti? Oh, um, there was this uh, Obra show that we did on mm -hmm. television. Okay. Between two rivals. Oh. And I was dating you. Know, <laughs> No, you are a fine boy, you know. Always, always, always a fine boy. Okay. And um, I was, you know, dashing them, you know, gifts every okay. now and again, not knowing I'll give the same cloth to you, give the same cloth to you, oh, and wow. then they went and met at the same street. Ooh. And uh, as women would gossip, you know, they came to recognize that, ah, it's the same man who gave me this. <laughs> <laughs> so they planned and came to my house Ouch. to come and meet me in my oh. house. <laughs> Ranty. That's right. No hard yes. yeah, And, yeah. and Ghana Man. Man. Yeah, yeah. Ghana Man was the very first two episodes of KTK then before he became Obra. Oh, okay. okay. The very first two episodes. Mm. How does the average Ghana Man mm. Okay. You know, that man who gets mm. paid and his pay doesn't take him home. Hmm. You know, he yeah. will do Sandahu half the month. <laughs> To survive, yeah, I yeah, know, he's mm -hmm. a normal Ghana man, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so yeah. that's the meaning of Ghana man, Ghana man is yeah. you know. Ukum. For some funny reason, <laughs> I always thought because you also play the role of Kwame Koma uh -huh. often, you know, when we are doing yeah. the commemoration of the 28th that February the, staff the, and the independence, the of the independence uh, exactly. Yeah. So I always felt that, well, maybe Ghana because of the Ghana stuff you were doing, uh -huh. that is oh, okay. how you got Ghana man. <laughs> the very first name I used for a television program. Was Ghana Man. Wow. wow. As the first wow. two episodes wow. of KTK. Wow. We are going to really go into <laughs> yeah. the work you've done, your journey, and all, mm -hmm. but take us back, you know, to growing up, to your childhood. Yeah. Who is David Onto? Oh, hmm. that is a long, long story. So, summarize Which it maybe for us. Some of them will be captured <laughs> yeah. in mm -hmm. my autobiography that mm -hmm. I'm writing. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, so I'd yeah. love to read that. Read that. Yes, yeah. yes, it has to come out just so that people can learn so mm -hmm. many things out of it. Yeah. Yeah. How soon will that be out? Um, maybe the end of the year. Oh, awesome. Maybe awesome. End of the year. awesome. We are waiting for yeah. it. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, I was born in Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. Grew up there, schooled up to Form 1 those days mm -hmm. in Cape Coast. Came to Winneba, went to Abakrampa. And then went to Upper Secondary School from Form 1 to Upper 6. Okay. Mm -hmm. Finished, worked for some years with my father with the USAID. Okay. And then came to work with the, the Center for National Culture Arts Center. Mm. Right. And then went to school performing arts mm. to do drama and theater studies. Mm -hmm. And then you know, came back 
to work there. He went to National Theatre and retired from National Theatre 2000. You were oh. born to do this. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> since 2000, I've been working and living on my mm. own. Wow. Very, yes. Mm. And how easy or difficult has that been? Oh, it's, it's, it's quite difficult. But um, if, you, if you give up, then it means you're not a human being who wants mm. to live. Right. Because yeah. right. life has its own mm. ways of training us to mm. cope with it. Yes. When right. God created his world, he mm. created mountains, created valleys, created gullies, mm. created lakes, rivers, and you have to cross. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Yeah. That's true. That's what you know, brings you to the point where you put on your thinking mm. cap yeah. and decide that I might be able to do A, B, C, D mm -hmm. to succeed in what I want to do. So what are and some that's of what the, I've been the doing. A, B, C, D. Do yes, yes. In fact, yeah. um, interestingly, mm -hmm. I... As a six, seven-year-old, I made a guitar. Oh, wow. Yeah, out of, <laughs> you know, we had this metal gallon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, would, I cut the top, put wood inside, and then put strings, right. and joined it to milo tin, margarine tin, <laughs> you know, over tin, tin <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 milk tin, and whatever, so that I could have all the sounds. Mm. And, you know, I was playing. So you can play music. as well? I have guitar in the house. Oh, you're yeah, a musician also, too. Also. Oh, yeah, yeah. I try to sing, you know. Oh, great. You must have something small like the David. <laughs> I actually compose, I compose songs. Oh, give, give that's us amazing. Something. Oh, oh, many hearts. Yeah. I compose songs. You know, I, you see, because the songs I compose, I normally compose them for stage productions. Mm. Okay. So they are not recorded, but yeah. they are fantastic. When you hear them, mm -hmm. you will not think that I compose them. Well, Which well, one comes bless to us mind with ready? one, you know. I should, I should give you yes. one. Yes. Give us one. Should we Join clap me. like that? Okay. Yeah. Okutu kwe kwe, okutu kwe ku. Okutu kwe kwe, okutu kwe ku. Mama 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 mama, Mary mama mama mama, Mpeni mama mama <laughs> that was actually yeah. beautiful. That was beautiful. And I compose mm -hmm. not only this, but also yeah. some English. I do, because I, I'm a poet. Okay. Yeah. I do yeah. have about 300 poems. Amazing. I even have one here. Mm -hmm. I have two or three of you, you know. Awesome. And I'm um, co currently compiling an anthology of all my poems. I write okay. poetry in Fante, Ooh. in Chi, and in English. Wow. So uh, lyrics come to me that easily. Yeah. Way back 1978, mm. I, you know, entered a real lyrics competition in the US, five-star mm. music studio in New York. You know, they picked my, you know, lyrics and made a song out of it. Oh, great. 1978. Did you wow. get paid for that? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they brought me what we call the music sheet. It's a plastic, mm -hmm. this thing like uh, the, uh, what do you call it, gramophone. The record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but, but mm -hmm. that was plastic. Oh, okay. We call it, you know, music sheet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a Ghanaian friend who used to, he's even, you know, passed on. Oh. Who used to be the leader of Bibiba Band. Mm -hmm. He went to Germany and he wanted to go and have it recorded in Germany. So I mm -hmm. gave him the music sheet and he died. Ooh. And I that couldn't was chase it, it again. But yeah. I believe that if I go back to Five Star Music Studio in New York, they yeah. will have in the archives. By all means. Yeah, by all means. Have, you know. yeah. So that is how far my poetry has been coming from. Well, so Uncle David, you know, um, from what you are telling us, you are a performing artist in every sense yeah. of the word. Through oh, yes, and yes. through. You see, um, when I when I finished this form, you know, initially I did met uh, you know science, oh, really? chemistry, <laughs> physics, biology, mathematics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what ah. did you want to? Uh, I wanted be? to do medicine. I could suture uh, you know a gash in someone's palm with Ooh. normal thread and you know, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, needle. Needle. Yeah. Wow. And it healed and so got you had a passion for that. Oh yeah, I I, I think is I I I had the, the knack for using my fingers to do to things. Do okay. Uh, I I I have a Stone bust in Massachusetts. Sculpted stone bust. Wow. You know, Massachusetts have become very popular exactly. in recent times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my artist husband comes from, you know, he's a white. American. Okay. He comes from there. And uh, he saw me in the house doing it and was wondering. Oh, you, know, you, you, you sculpted it yourself? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. I do mm -hmm. those things. 
I do abstract art. Oh, I do amazing. painting. So <laughs> I how, how come you're you not, I mean, exploiting you that much or no, getting uh, all the that from you? Arts took over it took the visual the, arts. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But the literary arts are still having because I actually majored in playwriting. Okay. Mm. At the university. Mm -hmm. And so I write plays, I write teleplays, I write screenplays. Mm. Okay. You know, and writing so many other things. Mm. I also do poetry. Okay. Uh, so, so, so yeah. let's, let's exactly, yeah. take the journey mm. properly. Yeah. When step did you, step. you know, step by step after um, you've run us through school and stuff yeah, you've right. been doing. So yeah. let's now look at your career journey. That's when right. did you begin? Uh, my career journey... I would say began, you know, in school, you know, secondary school, where okay. the, what we call the homo's night, mm. those days, you know, the, the freshest right. would come and do a performance for the school to enjoy whatever. Right. Um, what I did in Form 1, I don't even remember well, but <laughs> people were laughing at me because I, I mimicked a, a parrot. Okay. Oh, wow. You know, I mean, the parrot and the, the whole school, they will call me Akunana. <laughs> Akunana. <laughs> that is actually a musician's name. Exactly. Now, 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 now. Have you met him? Akunana. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I met Akunana years back. Oh, okay. On Agro. Maybe yeah, you should, yeah. should be paying rights to him. You see. I'm on But um, 73, mm. um, a friend of ours was do, doing some uh, stage production mm. and was using songs and their titles to tell a story. Mm. Okay. Fantastic concept. Yeah. In fact, we can even still do it now. We should. Yeah. Fantastic concept. Yeah. And mm. uh, he wanted people to join him to do it. So he called me and uh, then a colleague of two colleagues of ours. We all, I was Donto, he was Dan, so another one was Dodd. Oh, D, 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 He was called D, N, Amoa. Okay. okay. So D we came from here. No, D, yeah, D, N, A. So we, we, we did that show. And then people fell in love with it, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But over the years in secondary school, um, we had a, 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 a drama group. Club. Right. But the drama group was actually doing the drama Mm. In both English and in Pree. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but uh, the, I, I, I did Fante, you know, as a language yeah. in secondary school. But I didn't take it to O's because mm. I took French okay. to O's. And <laughs> the director, who was also a writer and a teacher of literature, mm. wanted me to, because he said my Fante was so nice, Smooth. so good, so whatever. So he wanted <laughs> me to play in the Fante place. Okay. okay. But the play, the play itself, Brodiado Donku Donku. Yeah, that's the what title of it. Go there, donku donku. I think uh, it has to do with uh, uh, you know corn cob. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, and uh, the the various uses that we have for corn cob. Okay. okay. But you don't respect it. Yeah. yeah. You don't regard it as anything. Yeah. Uh, but the play was in Chi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that time I didn't know that much Chi. Yeah. Okay. I got to know my you know learn my Chi from of course my schoolmates and also lived in Kumasi with my father for some time. Okay. So he wanted me to, and I was not interested in, you know, that. And also because I was doing science, times that we, we will be rehearsing, we are in the lab doing experiments. Oh, practical, yeah. <laughs> so I had to just, you know, just close my mind to it. Yeah. And then years after, came back to me again. Mm. Yes, when I designed, I did, I illustrated a book for uh, the director of USAID, mm -hmm. uh, one Dr. Olin Hess. He was writing a book, Agriculture in the Tropics. Okay. Mm. And he needed somebody to do the illustrations, 70 right. illustrations. Wow. One CD per copy. Oh, great. <laughs> and that was 1980. Ooh. Mm. So I, I did it and then gave me 70 fresh CDs. This, this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was good money for oh, me. Yes. And then he asked me, ah, I always come here and see you and I realized that you are quite intelligent, but yeah. why are you sitting in the house? I said, oh, um, I wanted to go and do science. I want to do medicine actually, and uh, I couldn't get all the grades to go to medical school. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wanted to do a remedial, but again, I had to change my mind to see if you know I could tend to do something else. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I went with my father for a while. My auntie called me to come and live here. That's yeah. how come I'm here. But I hope to do something else. And he says, "No, I see some art in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why don't you?" If the pursue science is that. not working, exactly. how don't you, you know, pursue the, into the, yeah. the, the magic of this world. He came there on a Saturday. The Monday, normally I, in the morning, will go out to buy graphic. Mm -hmm. Graphic, yeah. you know, normal newspaper, newspaper. graphic. Uh -huh. And then I saw an advert in it. Ghana Films is looking for people to train in film acting and stage acting. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
and that I even didn't know Ghana films. Mm -hmm. I had never been there. Yeah. So I decided, okay, <laughs> when my auntie and husband go to work, I walk from Dansuman to Ghana films. I walked wow. in and out. I walked. So I walked. I got there about a hundred and something, about 150 people there. All coming for audition, yeah. audition yeah. to be picked. They wanted to. They wanted forty people. Mm. Okay. And um, from about nine thirty or so, they started the interviewing. You know, the auditioning. Mm -hmm. At about four, four thirty, they had finished. Yeah. I was the last person. I was sitting there. Mm -hmm. And then may he rest in peace, um, Mr. Kofi Middleton Mens. Oh, okay. oh, he taught he, me. He used to be at NAFT. Na yeah. 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 He popped his head out and said, "Hey, Krachi, <laughs> you no." <laughs> are you coming for yeah, the Yeah, I can imagine how he will say yeah, it. Exactly. <laughs> are you coming for the auditioning? Audition? Uh, so I sat there for about five, ten seconds. I didn't know what to say. I said, okay, yes, yes. <laughs> so I said, okay, please, please, we want to go. It was, wow. It's getting to five. So I went there. And I went there, the late George Ander Wilson, uh, Mr. Ness Abekwe, yeah. uh, Mr. Kofi Mens himself, and one... Uh, T. H. Daniels. Okay. He used to be a director at Ghana Films. Mm. Mm. They were there. He actually directed Ayamino. Okay. That man. They were the panelists. Mm -hmm. Mm. So I went and sat there and started you know, talking to me and they were saying, Ah, you, you, you did science, so what do you want here? Yeah. <laughs> I said, Oh, um, <laughs> I have some <laughs> artistic. You know. I won best, uh, second best uh, artist. Mm -hmm. 1973. Okay. okay. Alex Bannerman, Akroma. Mm -hmm. He was first and I was second. He was okay. my mate. He was okay. my mate. Okay. Oh, great. So we were introduced to, we were actually, as part of our prize, we, we go, went on a, a, what do you call it, a, a tour. And then he said, oh, yeah, so that means you, you have some art. And mm -hmm. I said, oh, not even just drawing him, but I also act. act. And I write poetry. I do. Then uh, the man who was going to actually do the teaching, yeah. mm. George Andrew Wilson said, uh, the way he has good control over the language, I think he will do well. Let's just pick him. So they said, okay, you can go. Come on Monday. So wow. Monday, <laughs> the, la, the 40 they took, mm -hmm. I was part of it. Wow. Also, and also, from day also, one, also, I was also, the best. Also. What? I mean, it hasn't changed, you know. <laughs> so so, still are the best. Yeah. so, so are at the best. what point did you join Keteki? Oh, um, you know, KTK was <laughs> the interesting story of KTK. You know, when Rogers did the coup, mm -hmm. yeah. 81, 81, 31st December, yeah. mm. Osovrazi was then the uh -huh. group on television. Yes. Mm -hmm. But about October to that 31st December, when the coup happened, yeah. Yeah, they had stopped, stopped coming to record. Okay. Because they said they were demanding, Gibis was paying them 40 cities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as uh, honorarium and transport, yeah. right. you know, for their recording. And they said, they want GBC to increase it to increase 65 it. cities. Okay. And GBC refused to uh -huh. increase it. So they also refused so to strike. come and record. <laughs> you know, so yeah. they kept repeating their old episodes. Mm. So when Rollins came over and uh, took over and then um, uh, things were settling, yeah. mm. just end of January into February. Also, you know, Nanabo Sumpra was the one who yes, was producing yes, yes. God bless his soul. Yes. Nanabo Sumpra was called to the castle. Okay. And he went with Gizomabu because Gizomabu was then writing. Mm. Okay, but she some wasn't acting. Stories. No, she wasn't acting. Okay. With uh, uh, Nanabu Yeah, with, I mean, with Osofu and the whatever. Okay. But she was a member of the Ghana Theatre Club. Okay. Mm. Which was at the Art Center. Mm. You know, with uh, uh, the late Frances A. Madame Joyce, i.e. Mm. Okay. Uh, a whole lot of people okay. who were then members of. Ghana, Solomon Sampa, okay. Abel Kai, mm. you know, my Emery Brown. All of them. Anyway, huh? he, she was there, but at that time it was not so popular, not yeah. so common, you know. And then when they went, they were called to the castle, we were told that, look, those people have actually stopped coming to record. Mm. But we need, it's very good entertainment for the public. Yeah. So mm. we need a similar thing on television. Okay. So can you put together a group Ooh. that can actually, you know, also do what that software was doing on television? So mm -hmm. the Napo Sumpra with Grace Mabu, because she used to be with Ghana Theatre Club, yeah. came to Ghana Theatre Club. Mm. And Ghana Theatre Club, I had actually gone to Ghana Theatre Club because, you know, uh, training with, with Ghana films. There was this uh, NS Kofi young man, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. NS Sincia, yeah. you know, who was with us, you know, in that training school, yeah. and Becky Kufe. And they were with Ghana Theatre Club. Mm. 
So anytime we come for rehearsals and we are, we are going, I will walk. But the, the lady, you know, had a guy who would come and pick her. Okay. So she said, oh, then why don't you join us? We'll go to Ghana Theatre Club. We'll close. We'll come and put you at circle. Mm -hmm. And then you can continue from there. Yeah. So I, w I went with them mm. to Ghana Theatre Club. And when I went there, you know, they were rehearsing a, a musical drama called The Struggling Black Race. Mm. I think uh, this man, uh, Quincy Wood, he used to be the editor of Ghanaian Times. Mm. He wrote that play. Mm. He also okay. wrote Back to Mau Mau, the okay. Indian, the Kenyan Kenya. independent yeah. story. Mm. So I got there, and then Ernest introduced me to Emre Brown, who was then the director of the group, and he said, ah, this, this guy, he's very good. He's this, that, uh. <laughs> so we don't know him, we know he's not acting anywhere. The Struggling Black Race, mm. they had done it before mm. and wanted to do it again. But they were rehearsing a new play okay. called Back to Mau Mau. Uh -huh. And there was somebody who was supposed to play a certain role in it. The person mm. had those days that Agege, you know, was on, mm. had left all of a sudden for Agege. Yeah. So no, there's nobody to play that role. So mm. if I can, they gave me a, a short That's, piece yeah. of that person's whatever. If I can do it. It was a Friday. Mm -hmm. Monday, you know, they will you know, speak to me about it and see how I understood whatever it was. And then Monday I came. <laughs> they were expecting me to you know, have the, the script, script yeah. in my hand. I, I was not holding it. You were done. Well. And then, uh, then he was saying, ah, you are going to read this. I said, no, I've, I've learned it. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, sure? so, oh, yes. Okay, do it, let's see. Well, I could even, you know, on that do it, let's see note, we are going to take a break. Now, when we come back, we'll continue from here and mm -hmm. also find out when you fell in love with Grace of Marble. Oh, really? So, this is the outside out show. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the Upside Down Show on City TV, proudly brought to you by Vodafone. The future is excited. Uh, we're having a conversation with a legend, Ghana man, David Donto. He's sitting right here in the studio next to me in person, <laughs> but then it feels like I'm watching him in a movie. <laughs> you know? The story is just fascinating. Yeah. Very, very interesting. We're living your story now. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So yes, now we've got into you getting a role. Uh, you starting off from KTK. That's we, right. We, out of curiosity, I mean, do you remember how much you were first paid to act? Uh, who can tell me? I was paid six thousand cities, which is to be today six pesos. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But that's good. But that was good money, money then at that time. Yes. Yeah. At that time, I, but uh, it was not. What if today I were negotiating myself? Of exactly. Yeah. To yeah. Help no, today, you. today can we pay you? <laughs> we cannot say it. So let's quickly let's quickly just touch on the Mamed Okno mm -hmm. bit uh -huh. and the look at your legacy because I yeah. think that you are one of the um, people in the art space, mm -hmm. you know, from Ghana who has put yeah. the country on the global exactly. map. You exactly. have taken Ghana yeah. that far. That's true. And we cannot overlook your contribution to the industry. That's true. Mm. So what happened that you and Mamed Okno fell in love? And why did you two people marry? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very interesting story. Um First of all, I think uh, I will label her the mother courage mm -hmm. of Ghanaian theater. Yeah. Wow. Because um, she defied all odds, had three marriages broken mm -hmm. because Perfect. she wanted to act. Wow. Wow. Such and she still insisted on doing it and did it, and today, till today, she still does it. Yeah. Wow. You know, and it takes a lot of courage. And not even in these your days that things are that you know liberalized. Yes. Yeah. In her time, if you're a woman and you act, maybe you catch you some way. Hey. Mm. They say, oh, yes, I consent to close the <laughs> You know, that kind of yeah. Yeah. attitude. So you know, she I must really <laughs> congratulate her for yeah. having, you know, that resilience to stay in the industry yeah. for all these years till date. And also to thank her so much for, because she was actually the one who impressed me, upon me so much that, David, you are so good an actor. You can write, mm. you even direct and all that. Why don't you go to performing arts mm. and acquire a certificate for it? Oh, wow, she go did. To, yes. She was wow. the one who actually impressed upon me. And fortunately for me, uh, I, I had done some production, I've forgotten what production with uh, William Ado, Apache. Yes, mm. yes. In it. And that time he was a uh, teaching assistant at the university. Okay. At School Performing Arts. And I said, oh, yeah. but you, you did this for me and all that. Mm -hmm. you, did that you, did, you wanted to go and do medicine. 
you, you qualify to come. We will yeah. interview you. And when you pass the interview, you, you come to perform, performing arts. And I did the interview, and I, they were actually surprised. Of course, there was no way you're not going to <laughs> <Yeah>. make it. <laughs> they were surprised. Because uh, when I got there, even among the students, they said, hey, about this man, that time I had won Best Actor Award. <laughs> My first Best Actor Award. Before so coming I, to school. Before <laughs> coming to school. You were already before yeah. coming to performing so arts. Some of them was a, hey, Papa, we are going to say, hey, they are real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, but it was good fun and mm -hmm. I, I you know went to performing arts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you see, um, people are born in twins. Mm -hmm. yeah. In twins as not biological, yeah. but yeah. in twins as in what you came to pursue on earth. Mm. Yeah. You there is somebody who if we reduce it to a certain level we'll call it your better half. Yeah. Mm. In terms of your survival on earth right. in this life mm -hmm. you know she was actually one person who uh, identified something in me yeah. and decided that no um, whatever I have been doing I need to carry on and do it because it can take me very far mm -hmm. right because she, she is an actress and she can see that if I pursue I continue to pursue acting or doing things in theater yeah. I can go very far. Mm -hmm. So she was always in her own way encouraging me. You know, oh, this role David can play. That is, let him play. Oh, mm -hmm. David can do this, whatever. You know. But in television, from KTK to Obra, mm -hmm. most of the time, because. She's your wife. She, yes, because she was <laughs> playing my wife. <laughs> the whole Ghana actually. And those times, it was not easy for people to actually. Uh, so to speak, hold people and call them my wife. Yeah. You know, because even Osofo Dazi, that time they said Opon's girlfriend was BKC. BKC yeah. Yeah. Because he also used to play, they also used to play husband and wife. Yeah. So <laughs> um, in playing those roles, and interestingly, for uh, so many years that we played on television, we never kissed. Okay. Never ever. I mean, at that time, I think it culture and yeah. stuff like that, it you, yeah. not you couldn't see the, those mm. things. You know, yeah. But anytime we play together, there's a certain chemistry that work mm -hmm. you know, between us. As in understanding life to a certain level, having a certain you know belief in succeeding in mm -hmm. life, having a certain belief in in doing things that will really uh, encourage others also to enter that area of profession. Yeah. We clicked on that level, mm -hmm. and for which reason we became very, very good friends. So you decided yeah. to take it off no. screen, <laughs> no, no, and bring it behind the no. cameras. It grew, it grew no, from the screen. <laughs> no, you see, okay. we, we, we have platonic friends, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and we have very good friends. Uh -huh. yeah. But you see, human beings, we have three lives: yes, yeah. your secret life, uh -huh. your private life, uh -huh. and your public life. Okay. I have. I'm entitled to my secret life. Of course, so, you are. So, so that life, no, where does it fall? You and Mamed mm -hmm. life. Oh, part they, they fall in order. All three. Okay. Part, <laughs> part of it is public life. Okay. Part of it is private life. Uh -huh. And part of it is secret life. So can mm. we talk about the secret life? The a secret bit? life, that's what I'm saying, is secret. Yeah. And secret are secret. And uh, <laughs> so I have my and answer. If you divulge it, then so can it's we no longer a secret. So can we can make it exactly infer that? <laughs> no, because I never married her. Mm -hmm. But you dated. Uh, dated as in platonic friendship. That, that's mm. what I mean. Uh, they are saying I mean. what you couldn't do on TV, mm -hmm. i.e. Um, we, we did it on stage. We're acting also on stage. Mm -hmm. Yes, but beyond beyond, beyond TV acting, and yes. stage, mm -hmm. and when it comes to both of you as friends, when you visit her, when mm -hmm. she visits you mm -hmm. behind a closed door, so we should leave it at a secret level. Oh, you, you are talking about closed doors. What do you mm. see behind a closed door? Well, you will Nothing. have to tell us. <laughs> so you tell us. No problem. But, but after David, Talk about the industry yes, exactly. let's, let's, yeah. let's look at where you have mm -hmm. come from. Yeah. This was a young man in Central Region yeah. who wanted to do medicine. And then your course has been diverted. Exactly. Now you are in the arts. Mm. You've done a lot of productions. Yeah. You've you've contributed so much in right. policy making. Now one of your movies that has stayed with me up till today is Deadly Voyage. Mm. And any time I watch Deadly Voyage, the feeling is still the same. Yeah. I feel very sad, and it tells a certain story. I think we can relate to that. Tell That's us right. about these contributions that you have made, the legacies that you've been leaving us with. Yeah, um, I will actually start from 
my training in theater. Because theater is actually the foundation mm. of all the performing arts. There is music there, there is dance there, there is drama there. Yeah. And all the other forms of performing arts like puppetry, muppetry, yeah. you know, uh, uh, circus, all, all those areas of theater, mm. you know, when you train in theater, yeah. you come to have a certain understanding of the performing arts. Mm. And um, that is one thing that I have realized is lacking, is missing mm -hmm. in a lot of our performers today. today. Right. Because um, they don't know that any presentation on stage is actually theater happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you are there performing, audience are here watching. Exactly. That is theater happening. Yeah. But people don't have that concept, that understanding of theater happening. I'm on theater. There are certain things I don't do on theater. I walk this way, I turn this way, I exit here, I enter here, I know that kind of. People do not have that mind. Yeah. Right. Okay, that is one. Two, you also now begin to see that they say drama is a slice of life put on stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every aspect of life can be captured in theater. Mm -hmm. And so you need to really subject yourself to virtually learning to know everything, understanding everything. Yeah. So that you, you can play the doctor, you can play the security man, you can sure. play the president, you can play the thief. Uh, all, yeah. all the roles, yeah. And so, you, apart from learning, play scripts and, and, and other things that will help you do performance on stage. As an actor, I always tell my students, an actor is a student of life and a student for life. Mm. Mm. You will never end learning human nature yeah. if you decide, decide to be an actor. And actors actually portray human nature. Exactly. And that is why you never stop, you know, learning, mm. you know. If I spoke to you about boxing, you mm. think, you know, anyway, I boxed for six years. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're what a know. strange human being. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I was <laughs> training, I was training in Kanechi Complex with Azuma Nelson, Kakwa Lote, uh, Adama Mensa. Oh, this man. Yeah, no. <laughs> We should have a statue of you exactly. somewhere, yeah. you know? <laughs> you know, and I was an athlete. I was actually mm -hmm. doing 100, 200, 400. Amazing. Uh, 110 meters hurdles, long jump, high jump, triple jump. Ah. <laughs> and I did marathon on two occasions. <laughs> you know? Whoa. That's, that's interesting. You know, so Very interesting. <laughs> I, 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 um, there's a certain feeling in me always mm. wanting to know what goes on in this area. Yeah. Yeah. You know that feeling and so because of that you know there are times i even you know meet people in different sectors in different mm. professional areas yeah. and when we chat they they even begin to think that i belong to that professional no, 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 i'm an actor i write mm. actually yeah. a direct to do and they, they, they wonder they, are, they don't understand yeah. my auntie's husband who was an american mm -hmm. and one day we were chatting and that time i had never been to us okay <laughs> but i did geography very good. I was the best geography student in Ghana, 1975. So what aren't you best in? <laughs> what aren't you good at? <laughs> the understanding that I had about America. He could not believe it because he was talking about California. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> and interestingly, <laughs> oh, and California, you, like you had been there. <laughs> <laughs> California happened to be one of the states that I specialized in okay. when I did North America. Mm. So California, oh yes, the film industry or the aircraft industry or the... He said, industry. who is this guy? He was saying, ah. Have you I, been there? How do you know that? I said, oh, <laughs> I studied from geography. Yeah. So geography, you know, was a very sub good subject that I liked. Mm. But because I went to this to do science, yeah. I had to drop the geography. Yeah. So we even advised that, oh, why don't you keep the geography, add maths and physics, and you yeah. can kind of go and do piloting. Because I was also thrilled about piloting. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I, I actually, you know, uh, ended the geography there. But because of the geography, yeah. I had a certain better eye view of the world. Mm. Mm. I could draw the world map from memory. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And now for Ghana is small. Of yeah. course. <laughs> so I knew Ghana so much even before I started traveling around Ghana. Mm. In fact, I've been to almost every district in Ghana I've been there. Mm. Of course. Wasn't when we were doing Agro. Yeah, yeah Agro, Obra, yes, and, uh, yes. you know, and later Agro yeah. Fee. Agro Fee. Yes. Yeah, I was taking it around mm. in every, almost every district in Ghana I've been right. there. Wow. You know, and because of that, I, from geography too, learned about creation of towns. Mm -hmm. You know, towns grew from marketing. Yeah. Mm. Nodal towns like Kumasi. Mm -hmm. Kumasi became Kumasi because it was a nodal town. Yeah. 
So mm. many roads from around the country feed into Kumasi. So people come there to trade, mm. to buy and mm. sell. Wow. <laughs> right. I, I mean, David, we need like a month <laughs> to, 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 to talk to you. Let's so so zoom mm. into some of your productions or some productions you were involved in. Something mm -hmm. like Agro. How was it? I mean, you had to travel the entire country, like you mentioned, yes, uh, yes, to yes. do Agro. Yeah. How was it for you? And why is Agro of air? It's, it's, well, that's a good question to ask. It's a very interesting and, you know, adventure mm. for me, mm. you know, to have participated or done Agro and taken around the country. But before I did Agro, I had actually taken Obra around the country. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had performed Obra, yeah. you know, around the country. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing was that, you know, because um, I did science and then later on came and you know, did performing arts. Yeah. I saw a certain gap in my life, mm -hmm. as in, I knew so much of science at that level, I knew so much of contemporary world mm. in terms of performing arts mm. and whatever it is that I knew, but my own culture, there was a gap there, there were certain yeah. things I didn't know. Mm. And so I realized that, no, this is an opportunity for me okay. to do a lot more research, mm. learn our rites of passage, learn the language learn so many things or festivals everything about ourselves just so that i cannot comp you know call myself a complete ghanaian mm -hmm. if you say you are ghanaian what makes you ghanaian mm -hmm. it's not only your name no uh -huh. you must know why you call yourself exactly. a ghanaian exactly. you know and so we got to a point when we started amam kwampofu was the one who was setting the questions okay after two years i took over oh. until mm -hmm. date i've been setting the questions so where's our girl now no, I, I left Agro. Uh -huh. You know, Agro was... <laughs> what happened? Uh, Why did you leave? Because we, we knew you. No, you see, Charterhouse, uh -huh. uh, 2007, when Agro was about eight, nine years or so, yeah. uh, they, they said uh, that time, um, Western Union, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and uh, Minister of uh, 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 Agriculture Development Bank. Yeah, ADV. They were sponsoring. You know, and that, 2007, they said, yeah, okay, they are, you know, whatever they wanted, to achieve. use that grow to achieve the yeah, because now uh, so villages are called they call me uh, western union yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah everybody now knew western mm -hmm. union so what, what was the big deal mm -hmm. so they, they stopped sponsoring okay mm -hmm. and for about three four years you know that time ghana music awards mm -hmm. too that i was mm -hmm. part of its beginnings had also gained so much currency yeah. everybody was following ghana music awards yeah. and all that so charter house had swayed so much and were so much interested in Ghana Music Awards. Yeah, they yeah. have started Miss Malaika, mm -hmm. they have started Takes Two yeah. and all those. So mm. their concentration had shifted yeah. to those areas. Mm. So 2011, myself and a friend of mine decided that, no, I think the Agro, you know, program mm -hmm. was very much hailed by Ghana. They liked yeah, it. Yeah. They loved it. Mm -hmm. And the concept is also good. Questions about our history, yeah. our culture, yeah. our people, our language. But we can't let it die. So let's actually rehash it, mm. add a lot more things to it, make it, you know, uh, give it a, a, a new, you know, coloration, yeah. and then give it a new name and, okay. and start. So we, we call it Agrofi, so that it will be a home where every play yeah, can happen there. Right. So in Agrofi, even though it's questions and answers, you can have music, you can have dance, you can have drumming, you can yeah. have acting, all yeah. those things in there. Okay. So yes, Agrofi was your private production. Yeah, yeah, myself okay. and uh, Kwame Adu, okay. Okay. who were the ones who actually mm. were created. Okay. And Chata has actually took us to court and lost. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they, they said we had stolen, stolen their concepts. Their concepts. Their concepts. Uh -huh. <laughs> but they lost because, mm. first of all, the name even is not the same. Agro yes. is different from Agro. Yeah, you're yeah, so uh. right. <laughs> <laughs> but you also took part in Beast of No Nation. Yes, yes. Wow. You Tell us about that. There. Yeah. Oh, um, as well, for, there are a lot of foreign productions mm. I've done yes. yeah. that I have never shown in Ghana. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've done The Dead. You were part of The Dead. Yeah, I was yeah. there. Yeah. The we shot in Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. you know. Um, where others we were at, the Namibian mm -hmm. independent story. Yeah. We shot in Namibia. Mm -hmm. That's never shown in Ghana. Welcome Home has never shown in mm -hmm. Ghana. Um, um, Dying of the Light has never yeah. shown in Ghana. I did, no, uh, no Time to Slag Die. Ringe. No Time to Die. Uh, no time to die for that one yeah. that I showed here. Yeah. You know, Slavering has never showed in Ghana. A uh, shooter trickster has never showed in Ghana. You know, there are so many, you know, I am mm. that I am has never showed in Ghana. Mm. You know, and these are all films that I did with foreign, you know, uh, uh, production yeah. companies. Mm. And 
Fantastic films. Yeah. Very, very interesting films. Right. Apart from the local ones that you know. Mm -hmm. You know, all those films. You know, and some of them have won awards. Even uh, there was this uh, pilot that we did on the Asant, the Warrior Queen, okay. mm -hmm. which was 22 minutes. It's won five awards at different, you know, film festivals. festivals. Wow. Because they are interested in the story. They, they exactly. still want to you yeah. know, follow it. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the, the guy did it as a pilot to raise money to do a proper, you know, big feature you know, documentary on Yasantua. You know, talking about um, telling our stories through uh, drama, That's you right. know, uh, performing arts, I went to performing arts. Okay. Mm -hmm. we, we, you know, but, um, we had theater for development. Yes. That we used to tell stories to educate That's the right. public and all. About so many things. Now, per where you sit, mm -hmm. Uh, board chairman of the National, National Film Authority. Um, Authority. That's yeah. right. How are we going to be able to, you know, bring theatre for development to change the narrative? Oh, certainly. Um, that's why I started by talking about theatre. First of yeah. all, we don't have to let theatre die. Because theatre is the basis from graduates onto television and graduates into film. Mm. Now, when you kill theatre, it's like a tree that you've killed the roots. Mm -hmm. The tree will eventually die. If you, if you realize, um, those of us in the acting you know, domain, there's a generation that you know, has virtually all gone. Yeah. You know, um, just a day or two ago, Manolama Pazo, may he rest in peace. Mm -hmm. you know, we're all theater actors. You know, Fred Amugi, Akofa, yeah. Uh, Yusumabu, Edinam, Mawuli Semevo, yeah. you know, uh, Bill Kai. Uh, and all these are theatre trained actors. Yeah. And you realize that there's a certain discipline with these people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they learn. They know how to learn their lines, they know how to comport themselves, they know and they understand yeah. what exactly is expected of them as mm -hmm. actors yeah. when they get on set to interpret the story with the director. Yeah. But this new generation, they are very talented, mm -hmm. but they don't have that training that will let them learn the discipline of mm -hmm. understanding and doing what it must, what must be done, right. you know, when it comes to performing, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. And some people actually have a mind that, oh, after acting, everybody can do acting, I mean, you know. <laughs> but it's not true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even walking and eating is taught, mm -hmm. yeah. okay? Um, every human being actually is talented. Yeah. yeah as talent. That is why you say every human being is an actor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know whether you've not told a lie in your life. Well, <laughs> I think that's part of my secret life. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. The time you yeah. are telling the lie, you are acting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that tells you that everybody can act. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. But that talent must be polished into scale. Exactly. Yeah. You need to know how to walk, how to talk, how to turn, how to do so many things. And especially even for film, mm -hmm. how to speak to camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what shots uh, you are you, you are, are you are you exposed to, mm -hmm. such that will influence your your mannerism, influence your actions, yeah. your movements, and things like that. All those things you learn them how to speak, you learn them yeah. how to articulate for us to hear. It's audio visual. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you don't only see the visuals. We must hear you yeah. exactly. so well, and that means for you, the actor, you must know your facial right. expression, your demeanor the way you walk and mm. all those things all those things are taught yeah. Yeah. they don't come to you naturally yeah. mm. <laughs> it's not you standing there and then acting and then communicating the wrong mm. message mm. that is that is dangerous yeah. yeah that is dangerous and that is why a lot of our acting now doesn't have value mm. doesn't have value in the sense that they release the film five six months one year you can't even remember the title of the film. Because yeah. sometimes can't we, can't, the we, we can't even connect. Exactly. Because yeah. I, I watch a movie, and um, a Ghanaian movie. Yeah. And I saw like a palace scene yes. with a son greeting the mother in the morning. And I heard, gracious morning, mother. And you know, some kind of Shakespeare <laughs> yeah, yeah, English. Yeah. And I like, which, which but, is not but who oh, greets exactly. their mothers uh, like uh, this uh, in exactly. the morning? Uh -huh. You yeah. understand? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, we're going to go into your person. I mean, how okay. you unwind as an as an individual. But I want to take you back to Kukrantumi, the road to a crack. That's yeah. right. And I want to ask a question about um, nudity mm -hmm. in, in television or in film now. That's right. I remember in Kukrantumi there was a, a scene where is it Rose? 
Yeah. Was Rose, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. That's uh, uh, Abna's mother. Yes. Yeah. She yes. took off her towel. Yes. For you to uh, wipe No, no, no. That was, uh, <laughs> uh, I've forgotten her name. Supposed to be the prostitute. Yes. That Abna yes. came to exactly. meet in Accra. Yes. Yeah, took off her towel. Exactly. Her and head. she had a burst in the. Exactly. I mean, and all that. Her. Yeah, sure. Then, I mean, ordinarily, it, it didn't hit as much as it will hit today when mm -hmm. it comes to a nude scene in That's a right, movie. Yeah. What are we missing? And then let's talk about the quality of production then as against quality of production now. Yeah. Um, if you can touch on these. First of all, talking about quality of mm -hmm. production. You see, the, 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 first of all, everything starts from the script. Right. The whole film or drama or whatever you put up there on stage or on television starts from the script. Mm -hmm. We have to go back to get people to be interested in writing stories. Mm. Nigeria, Nollywood has actually taken a leap ahead of Ghana because of the very strong writing culture in Nigeria. Mm. Yeah. And theatre is a very powerful you know, means of entertainment and communication in Nigeria. Mm. They do it in English and the various local languages. Fortunately, they are federal state. Each one of them has a television station. Apart from the television station, they have cinema theaters, yeah. Yeah. you know, and then you know, theaters for stage performers and things. And so that's why there's a plethora of actors all over, yeah. all over, yeah. and they are trained. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is the difference between yes. Nollywood yes. and yes. us. Because most yeah. of these actors have degrees in oh, theaters. Yes. Uh, some day there is a lecturer at the Leifu University. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he came here in 97 mm. and was doing um, No Hiding Place, mm. some mm. program on uh, that time Groove FM. That later oh, became okay. Adam FM. So I interviewed him, uh, Angelique Kijo, and uh, that man whose company prints the Ghana CDs. He called Techimaika or something like that. Mm. Yeah. I interviewed the two of them on my program that day. Mm. And Okala. Okay. Okala, <laughs> the, the comedian. Mm. <laughs> and then when I was speaking to him, he was uh, asking, ah, you. Do you know theater? Have you done theater before? And I laughed. And I said, oh, oh, oh. I am <laughs> theater. <laughs> and he, you know, we laughed. And, yeah. you know, later, actually, you know, did a film with him. Okay. Oh, he came and with him. In fact, the very first, mm. you know, one of the very first Ghanaian, Ghana Nigerian co-productions mm. I did with him. Oh, awesome. which year was this? Awesome. Would you remember? Uh, I think it was in 97. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama. Mm. Uh, you know, unfortunately, time will not allow us oh, exactly, to say all this, the things. Let's, 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 let's break it down. Let's come home. That's right. I mean, you as an individual, mm. what kind of songs do you listen to? Do you have a favorite song? Oh, uh, favorite song, as in one song, would be difficult to pinpoint. Yeah. But I love mm. Ghanaian folk music okay. and also high life music. Yeah. Awesome. But that has not actually stopped me from liking my reggae, liking my jazz. Mm. Mm. You know, and uh, you know some bits of R and B. You know, and Ooh. all of that. Yes, yes, yes. He's a favorite <laughs> the, 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 the feeling of music is actually a rhythm. Mm -hmm. It's something that actually hates you. Mm -hmm. Not as a physical something. Of course. When it but it touches you. you. No, So I could have video because of time, there are certain things we also need to get mm -hmm. out of you. Okay. So we are going to just ask okay, so now we are going to be doing agro fear kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm just asking the question and then and you then get I'll it. Give the exactly. <laughs> so so what's your favorite movie? Not the ones you have done. Mm -hmm. Other other productions. What would be your favorite? Do you have one? Um I do have not my movie, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I watched a film and I cried. Ooh. China Syndrome. Mm. Mm. Uh, Jack Lemon and Jane Fonda. Okay. okay. And Michael Douglas. Michael oh, okay. Douglas. They okay. actually played in mm. that film. Oh, that would be awesome. a wonderful movie. I watched that film and I mm. cried. Okay, so we we'll go and look for oh, yeah, China yes, Syndrome. Yeah, China and Syndrome. That's with our favorite food. Yeah. Favorite food. Yeah. Oh. Etso na biyokwen. That's right. It's very rich and very heavy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you take it, and across the day, you can choose not to eat. Exactly. Just drink it with the top of it. All right, so let's go to your favorite musician, Ghana musician. Pat Thomas. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 He's excellent. He's excellent. Amazing. Talent. Yeah. yeah. Pat Thomas. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to buy a car, or if somebody decides to give you a car of your choice, which brand would you go for? Um, I I drive a Toyota and I love the feel because I've driven um, Nissan, I've driven uh, Opel, mm -hmm. uh, even Benz. I've you know driven, I've driven Benz. 
You choose the Yoto Uber Benz? Yes. Wow. You see, <laughs> there's a feel. There's a feel I get when I drive to Utah. Mm. Well, I get that same feel when I drive a Benz. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a quote that you live by? A favorite quote? Oh. A saying that you live by. But, uh, let me just pick this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to see how you do To it, everything mm -hmm. has its corresponding entity that fits it. Ah. Right. Uh, like the Ibu Beze, the one fan show a frito. You know, yeah. When you started, it sounded like a growth year. <laughs> so before we go, I think we should do just a bit of a growth year. Exactly. Let's go back to the growth oh, studio. Yeah, so just uh -huh. take a back. So. I will ask you a question. <laughs> You very simple ones. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I'm sure you will know. Okay. So maybe we should stand uh -huh. and then you open, you know, the yeah, signature like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you then see. we close with that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be interesting. Right. That would be interesting. Yeah. 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 I go for it. I said, I'm going to go. 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 I'm a wussy and be brave. If we were busy and cool, and then the Pokua were Timamu and Wagana. Now, Sene, yes, ya, and some bizarre, and Pesama de Pimpu, a B, and they say, Say, Cassay, a dinkra, and sent you a near hoy. Your back could be. Booms are who calls on the mall. Ubunu compose a yah, you could see a finish. Sigh, dinkra, and a friend say. Sankofa. Sankofa. Okay, another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. Brofra a yet deno. Twasu. Brofra a yet deno. Mm-hmm. Ebeye no. Abada. Abada. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. So, if you have never watched a growth here before, this is mm -hmm. what you miss. This is David Dalton. Exactly. He is the a man. I mean, you can describe him as the theater. You know, mm -hmm. he, he is the theater of Ghana. Everything about it, you know, yeah. every um, aspect, every angle of it, this man represented. Mm -hmm. And we are so proud of him. And now, as the chairman or the board chairman of the National, National Film Authority, Authority. Mm -hmm. I have believed in you mm -hmm. that you will put. Ghana movies, Ghana theater, yeah. back on track where we have to be. We, we have to, we have no other choice yeah. because people actually what politicians don't realize is that mm. we are actually the solution to the problems of exactly. this country. Absolutely, exactly. because we are the people who create, who bring up new ideas, mm. and everything, every new thing that comes in the system is actually started by an artist. And you say exactly. we always say that Ghanaians don't like reading. That is okay, but I believe that we also have our way of learning, mm -hmm. and that is through drama, drama. that is exactly. through theater. Yeah. Exactly. And so maybe exactly. we should now go back exactly. and see I what totally works agree. for us. And, totally and totally it's something that even kids, mm -hmm. you can teach a two-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old, mm -hmm. through drama. Exactly. And they will take it. That's why we all, all in this country people fell in love with by the fireside. Yes. Exactly. Because yes. they were telling stories about ourselves that they could yes. identify with. And it was done by Mamedo. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys uh, this is all we have time for it's rather unfortunate i mean this man is a fountain of wisdom we would have loved to drink more and more and more of that yeah. wisdom but unfortunately uh time is up it's been great it's been amazing uncle uh, david thank you so much uh, uh for gracing mm. our studios and of course for helping us with all this much information mm -hmm. the show was brought to you by vodafone the future is exciting ready my name is Nanati Four. And my name is Premier Dinyami. It's been awesome coming your way. Maybe we can go with some Pat Thomas. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That would be fantastic. And then you can teach us with some dance moves. Oh, uh, <laughs> and, and you see, and her life, the interesting thing about her life mm -hmm. is that it's the only music that anyone can dance to. Yeah. All right. You only have to just get the rhythm and move mm. to it. Okay. You see, and uh, let, me, let, me, let me teach you something. Mm -hmm. Listen, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. That is highlight. This is the movement. <laughs> and then you now can use the movement to turn around yeah. and do all kinds of things. Ooh. And move out of it. And do yeah. the maja in it. Do the adwa in it. Yeah. Do the bawa in it. Oh, and everything. Hey. But you are still dancing highlight. Oh, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>